Yo, 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 you're watching the internet's most passionate family, that Reyes family, aka the internet's family, and in this video, Sadie goes to a pool party. Enjoy. Hi guys, so I'm going to here do with my dad, Alejandro, <laughs> a spider craft. Yeah, so we're gonna, we ha what do we need in order to do a little spider craft? We need two blanks. Paper. Got some paper. A couple colors of paint. Couple and colors of paint. paint. You need a plate so you can put the paint on it. Okay. And we're going to be doing with our hands, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a lot more vlogging with you so we can see yours. But what up, y'all? Say Bella and I are just chilling while uh, Sadie and Mama are at the birthday party. I'm sure. They're having a blast, and so St. Bella's not in um, school yet, so she kind of misses out on these fun things, but next year she's going to be in kindergarten and gets invited to all these really cool parties, huh? You were a little bummed out, right? But you're excited because we're still doing some craft. Sadie um, is going to a swim party, and I'm going swimming tomorrow. Okay. Are you excited to do this craft now? Yes. Awesome. What do you think of my eyes, Belle? It's kind of like the front of his eyes, That's so he good. actually kind of looks like... I like it. That looks like, hey, what's up, Leia? That's good. Thanks, Belle, for giving me such... Uh-oh. Let's see what we're doing here. Oop, Ooh. that's a little too much. So let's let's hold on. Let's, let's wait. Wait, you know how to do it? Wow, that's pretty cool. Little glittery guy. All right, so I don't know what I'm going to do else with this one. Uh... Let's give mine. I know what I'm give mine. It's gonna be a secret. Well, I don't know if I did it how I wanted to because I should have let it dry first. But as you can see, he's got like a goldish. It's like supposed to be gold, but I use that purple stuff. But he got a chain right there. It looks like a mouth, but that's actually supposed to be a wrapper chain. Good job, Belle. Hello, happy Sunday. We are at Target right now because Sadie is headed to a birthday party for one of her school friends. So she's picking out a present and then we're heading over there. It's actually an indoor pool party. So underneath her outfit here, she's got her swimsuit on. Ah, oh, she's got her swimsuit. <laughs> you excited? So what'd you decide? Um, like the journal? Yes, maybe it could be her diary. Yeah, but and who gets to read your diary? Mom and Dad. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, with pens too. And then we're thinking maybe a shirt or something. We've got a couple options here. So. Just having some quality time with my girl Sadie before the party. And it's good just to be out with Sadie because I'm always out with Bella. But Sadie time today. Exciting girlfriend? Yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Hey, 
how was your time? Good. Good. It was a beautiful day, huh? Mm -hmm. But I'm glad it was an indoor pool because it's kind of chilly, huh? Mm -hmm. You're, are you just tired? Yeah. Yeah. So it brings me such a great privilege, such a great honor to announce for the first time in her life, six-year-old Sadie Loren. Six-year-old, I don't know what the heck I'm saying. But Sadie Loren, first time ever, she's vacuuming. Did you make sure there's nothing on the ground? <laughs> there you go, it's gone now. But did you make sure there's no like rings or anything on the ground? Let me help you by move this. Good job. Come all the way back. Take your time. All, all the way, all the way. And you got to go all the way straight. Wait, go straight. All the way, all the way out. There you go. Wow, look at that pretty girl right there. What? Sarah wants Sarah wants me to introduce her too or something. Nice. Say he's doing a good job. I love the vacuum. Um, so, he's doing a good job. Good job, babe. It's been an interesting last few days. Friday, started Friday with being stuck in the car with these ones. Uh oh, that was a bad time. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, just chilling, hanging the weekend. Sadie had a fun little trip today. Did you guys vlog about you almost drowning? Did you want me to talk about it? I have mommy talk about it in a sec. She didn't really almost drown, but I have Sarah tell you right now. So, can you guys do me a favor and sing the Good Night song? Good night, sleep tight. Let the bed bugs bite. Good night. Oh, love you guys. Let's pray. So, Sarah's gonna come and chat a little bit about Sadie's situation at the, the, uh, and listen, I don't want any of y'all to freak out. She's fine. There was lifeguards at this this swimming pool party. I know. Here's one thing I know about a YouTube channel. Like, we are we put ourselves out there, and most of you awesome people and happy and positive people are always all good and understand life. Um, but then sometimes we follow other vloggers and like, man, they can't do nothing right. And their feed sometimes in their comments can be just just crazy negative. It's like, man, you don't have the whole story of what's going on. So we're going to tell a part of our lives because we're always honest with you. And uh, Sarah's going to share that in a second. But on Friday when we went through that uh, like five or six hours in a car, I don't know what the heck happened. I've never had a growing strain or a growing tear or Sarah's laughing at me because I don't know why. But, uh, I was not but I, was reading a I think in my Instagram. Oh, okay, she's laughing at Instagram, Jeez. but she's using that because she's really laughing at me. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, I think I strained my growing, and it's like a muscle right above your thigh or whatever. And I was hoping Sarah was done with nursing school because I'm asking all these questions and I'm like on WebMD. It's like the worst place to go. <laughs> it's like cancer in your groin. Yeah, but anyway, so I think what happened was, and I was kind of seeing, but like sitting too long, when the girls got out of the car, I probably should have got out of the car. What happens is like your hip, I don't know, something like your hip ends up having to, I don't know, it's like starts with a hip and my, my lower right hip was actually hurting. Um, and so I guess to overcompensate, my growing was like, trying to balance everything out and so I can it's it's a it's a struggle to uh, to get up and use my growing area <laughs> yeah anyways <laughs> it's gonna get better I keep telling him to take ibuprofen because I just the, took ibuprofen this morning the inflammation and... away and you can't heal if you're in pain like your body stresses that area and so you have to stress take... right now you have to take something so it can relax your muscle and so that it can heal from the outside, from the inside out. Yeah. So, I'll be making sure he's taking his little anti-inflammatories. So what happened with Sade? 
So, uh, she had a great time at the pool party. Hold on one sec. Does it make sense that I was saying, like, I know if someone heard the word drown, people are like, oh my gosh. CPS. CPS. No. And she didn't almost drown. She was in the pool. I wasn't there, so I don't know. Yeah, she was in the pool with her life jacket the whole entire time um, until the last, like, half an hour of the swim session. So then I think she realized, like, uh, all the girls, like, took off their life jackets because they could all reach. It was, like, three, three and a half feet. And so she was fine swimming around. Then she had, like, little noodles. Well, at one point, the mom, the birthday party, the mom of the birthday girl wanted to take pictures. So all the girls, like, went to one side and like her noodle somehow let go and there was just like a lot of commotion around her and i think she panicked and i was watching her for like five seconds as she was like struggling just to like i think she kept just like slipping because i knew she was touching the floor and standing up but she was swallowing a lot of water and like i just saw like you know you know your kids her eyes just changed and she was looking at me like oh my gosh <laughs> and so I just got up, ran to the edge of the pool, and I told life girl, I was like, can you please grab her? And I probably looked like a psycho mom, but she was, she wasn't doing well. And so he grabs her, takes her to the edge of the pool, and like, she's like, uh, she wasn't coughing up water or anything. I think she just she's was more like, panicking, freaking out probably. Yeah, she just was like swallowing it out. And then I was like, are you okay? And then you know what happens when you your, your mom says, are you okay? She just like broke down and started crying. So I got her robe, like, told her, like, gave her a hug, told her to calm down, had her take five breaths, and I said, now you have to go back in the pool. And she was, like, not wanting to. So Sarah threw her in and said, for you can learn. <laughs> no. no, she didn't. So I just said, you, if you don't go back in the pool right now, you're going to remember that moment and totally not ever want to get back in the pool. I want to take her to get it back in the pool. So she got, I just was like, I took off her robe, and she was kind of fighting it, but I just took it off, and I said, you're gonna be okay. Get your noodle and go back in. And she was fine like a minute later. Nice. But um, it was just like that. It was five seconds where later I was like, where, "What were you thinking?" She's like, "I thought I was gonna go under." Like <laughs> she, I was like, "You were gonna be fine. You could touch." But she just had that like panic moment. But she's all good. She's, she's all good. And I'm glad I made her go back in because I know that that's happened. One time I almost crashed my dad's truck when he was trying to teach me how to drive. <laughs> And I stopped and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. And he made me keep driving because he was like, if you don't keep driving, you will panic. It's like riding a oh, bike. Yeah, he was like, you, so that's what I like remembered. I was like, I just have to make her go back in. Yeah. Then she'll forget. I have that memory. Happened. So that's good. She had a blast and the kids were so much fun. Good mom. I try. All in all, an interesting and fun weekend. Got to speak on Friday. Stuck in traffic for hours. Uh, Saturday, I uh, went to a fun birthday party and then to uh, today, chilled, Sadie had a great time. Val and I made that um, spider. Um, she like really wanted to make it. She loves doing crafts and so that was that was pretty fun. Excited, bittersweet, in my last week at the university and uh, you know, Motivation Monday. Here's what I'll tell you, finish strong. Um, you know, it's really easy to start something but finishing is like the big thing and I'll be the first to admit it's really hard to stick and finish strong with something and so I think we could finish you know I'm gonna finish my my time here and not be thinking oh I can't wait to leave and I'm gonna leave or whatever but I'm gonna stick it out strong and that's what it is like every single week for us like a Thursday we start checking out it's the weekend Friday man I'm gonna just coast I'll get that work done Monday but man I just challenge you in all that we do if we can finish our day strong if we can finish our our weekend strong if we can finish our week strong if we can finish Different things in our life stronger, I think uh, it just really sets us up to have good habits, good discipline, and all that good stuff. So all that to say, finish strong. Any last words, wise words? Have a great week, my amigos. Have a great week. Always remember, with a little bit of you and a little bit of us, we are changing the world. Peace. Good job! Do you guys want to all say that together? Once upon a time! Not long ago in the...